is up you guys welcome back to another one if you're new to this channel i am gold penny as your new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we're in the new 2024 mercedes-benz c300 courtesy of mercedes-benz of hagerstown in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below so today we're in this one because there is new safety and new features overall for the 2024 c300 excellent styling as always and this is actually the ninth year in a row i will be reviewing viewing the C-Class. That's pretty cool. That means I'm getting old, but ultimately in this video, I will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering fuel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so as you can imagine, there are a couple different configurations for the 2024 C-Class. First one being the rear wheel drive version, starting at $46,950, which is a $2,100 bump actually from the 2023 model year. And then there is the 4Matic all-wheel drive version going for $48,950. But regardless of the configuration that you go with, the power plant on the C300 is going to be the same. Powering the Beast is a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder with the mild hybrid system, putting out 255 horsepower at 5,800 RPM, 295 pound-feet of torque coming in at 2,000 RPM. Power being sent to rear wheels or all wheels. There were nine speed automatic with paddle shifters, which you guys know we will, of course, be testing out here in a little bit but zero to 60 time coming in at approximately six seconds flat that's plenty respectable on paper there mpg numbers coming in at 25 in the city 36 on the highway for the rear wheel drive 24 city 33 then on the highway for the all-wheel drive taking premium unleaded fuel and so before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in our c-class wanted to mention you guys the drive modes it's going to be a button labeled dynamic that stands for dynamic select you just press that button just below the infotainment screen that's going to give you eco comfort sport and individual adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response and the steering sensitivity and so now i haven't got all of that out of the way let me go ahead and put it in that sport driving mode there like i just did let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put the paddle shifters and acceleration here to the test i want to see how quickly the paddle shifter is going to react for us and i also want to see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed all right we're in first gear go instant instant All right, two things. One really, really good thing. That was an instant acceleration. You know why? It's not just a turbocharged four cylinder. It has a mild hybrid system. This is something I gripe on with so many of the turbocharged four cylinders out there. You almost always get turbo lag, but with a mild hybrid system, it's instant. It feels like a naturally aspirated acceleration from the get-go. So I absolutely love that. The acceleration is breathtaking on this thing. It's not, it's not AMG quick, but it is pretty darn quick. You're not going to have any issues emerging onto the highway. I'll just put it that way. Paddle shifters, there is a bit of a delay to them. So I want to say that as well. So while the paddle shifters are there, and I do appreciate that because you can use them for a, do a little bit of engine braking. So if it were to be snowing outside, let's say, as it often does here in Western Maryland, just simply do a little bit of downshifting using the paddle shifters rather than actually hitting the bricks. Kind of decreases that risk of you sliding off the road. So they're good for that, but there is a delay to them. But the acceleration, it's crazy. I love the mild hybrid system. That really does a very good job on this thing. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So as expected, you will find four-wheel ventilated disc brakes that do come standard on the C-Class. As far as that 60 as your stopping distance goes, that comes in in an incredible 112 feet. That is a pure sports sedan number right there. You got to love it. Typically with sedans, you get the lower 120, so 112 feet. That's absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and hit the brakes since nobody's behind us. Let's test out the braking feel. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not the very firmest braking feel that I've ever tested, but it's pretty darn good. So this thing definitely instantly brings you to a stop. So I absolutely love that as well. Touching on suspension and handling, up front you're gonna get a four link front suspension, in the back five arm multi-link rear suspension, but here's the best part you guys, an adaptive damping suspension. What is that? I'm glad you asked. So what that does is it monitors each shock absorber individually, not only adjusting to the road imperfections, giving you a smoother ride, but it's also gonna tighten up that suspension during heavy cornering, giving you better handling as well. So it does give you the best of both worlds. And what most people are gonna notice with adaptive damping suspensions is that it's a much smoother ride than if you were to not have an adaptive damping suspension. That's the most noticeable difference to me, at least after driving 800 plus cars, you can notice the difference. It is a much smoother ride. So having said that, as far as ride quality goes, although Hagerstown roads are super smooth and they just kind of repaved these maybe a year ago, 
it's been perfectly fine. It's absolutely amazing ride quality here in the C-Class, so definitely no issues there. As far as steering feel goes, I still have it in that sport driving mode because I like this driving mode. And yeah, the steering feel is definitely on the firmer side of things. It's a nice weight to it. Definitely instantly, instantly points you in the direction that you wanna go. If I could talk, let me just do an experiment here. Let me uh, put it in comfort driving mode. It does loosen up that steering feel, so it's a much looser feel to the steering. So I guess it gives something for everybody, which is a good thing, right? So as far as cabin noise goes, as we're going 50 miles per hour right now, I'll let you guys be the judge. This is a road mic we're talking about here, so it should be picking up on things. And uh, I honestly think it's been perfectly fine, but if you did want the most serene cabin available, there is a package for that. That package is the acoustic glass package that goes for $150. That not only gives you an acoustic laminated front windshield, but also acoustic laminated front side glass as well. So that's gonna be the very most serene cabin that you could possibly get if you wanted to go that route. Then touching on visibility, looking at my rear view mirror here, I will say the second row headrests definitely are up right now. I could have pushed them down. I probably should push them down. So if I did push them down, I, I think visibility would be just fine. They are up right now though, but typically in the shape of this particular sedan, you're not gonna have any issues of rear visibility, but touching on forward visibility, rain sensing windshield wipers do come standard on the C-Class. So whenever the C300 detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's gonna automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you there. So it's kind of like automatic headlights, just one less thing you gotta worry about there. And a head up display projected upon your windshield is available as an option as well. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2024 Mercedes-Benz C300. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2024 Mercedes-Benz C300 finished in polar white, in case you were curious of the exact exterior color name that we had on this one with us here today. But as always, let's go ahead and start with where the C-Class is made. Taking a look at the VIN, first character is the letter W, indicating that the new C-Class is built and assembled in Germany, as it should be. But let's go ahead and start up front on this one. You will find a vertical slats finished in matte black coming standard for that front grille. However, there are some AMG line packages and that will give you a diamond block front grille, which is traditionally what Mercedes-Benz is known for. Although this front grille looks perfectly fine, I will say that. But anyways, AMG line packages go for around $3,400 more or less. It's also gonna give you more aggressive styling throughout the entire vehicle, not just the front, but the sides and the back as well then but to the side so led headlights do come standard with led daytime running lights and the automatic feature so when it starts to get dark at night headlights will turn on automatically for you there but also automatic high beams coming standard so if you have your high beams on at night and it senses the vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams then when that vehicle is gone it's going to automatically bounce it back up to high beams for you there so that is definitely nice as well but i did want to also mention there is an adaptive front lighting system adaptive digital light headlights is what it exactly is called that goes for $1,100. That essentially not only is going to give you brighter illumination at night, but the adaptive part, meaning when you're going around a bend at night, the headlights are going to swivel based on the direction of your steering angle. Better help illuminating what is around that bend, so you're less likely to hit a possum or a squirrel or a cyclist or an alien or whatever the case. So that is pretty cool as well. So as far as that front lip goes, it's either gonna be finished in chrome like it is today or gloss black if you go with one of the AMG line packages. And parking sensors are actually a new feature for 2024. That's one of the changes. They come standard across the board now. And you guys can see that found on the corners there. So that is gonna be in the back of course as well. But that is new for 2024. But that pretty much rounds out the front end of this one. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, so now since we are around to the side of this one, chrome or gloss black, window surrounds do come standard we got the chrome obviously gloss black of course with the amg line packages chrome accents found on those door handles that come standard across the board taking a look at the side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors you will get led integrated turn signals as well and believe it or not they are power folding coming standard so you gotta love that as well so when you lock this one up they're going to automatically fold in when you unlock it they're going to automatically fold back out and then they will be finished in gloss black actually with the amg line package there but then taking a look down at the wheel setup 18 inch aluminum alloys coming standard 18 inch amg specific alloys for the 
the AMG line. And then 18 inch and 19 inch wheel designs are available to really customize it and make it your own. They would also mention there's gonna be AMG specific side skirts with that AMG line package as well. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the side profile. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so but now since we are around to the back of this one, first thing I wanna mention is up top, there is no shark fin antenna on just about every other manufacturer out there. It is on there, but Mercedes-Benz went with the super clean look with completely removing it. So I personally absolutely love that, but rear spoiler, if you wanted it, that goes for $350. It is available in body colored or gloss black, your choice there. LED taillights do come standard for added illumination at night. And just below it all, you will find what looks to be maybe some exhaust cutouts but the exhaust is actually hidden down underneath below and it is dual exhaust outlet so i do believe you guys know what we have to do next is always here is that exhaust clip Alright, so but now since we are around to the back of the C-Class here, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, a power trunk actually does come standard across the board, so you gotta love that. There's a button on the trunk itself, there's a button on the key fob and the driver's side door then as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 12.6 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 40-20-40 split, meaning the seats fold down very, very flat, giving you a bunch of extra space then if you needed it. But there is a button in the cargo area to actually fold down those rear seats, so I like seeing that as well and actually there's more in the back of the c-class than you typically find on just about every other sedan out there so you got cargo lighting of course but you also have two grocery bag hooks that's an suv feature you also have four chrome plated tie down anchors that's also an suv feature but very rarely found on sedans got some netted storage and then if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor another suv feature being a ton of in-floor storage which is pretty darn cool to see there as well but then making our way up to the rear legroom that comes in at 36 inches even for reference i mean even six feet tall this is me sitting behind my own driving position there rear center armrest with the tablet or phone holder whatever you want to call it that does come standard rear ventilation also coming standard there's a little bit of storage underneath of that rear ventilation but the one thing i would have loved to have seen here in the c-class are charging ports so if i'm buying a c-class i want my kids to stay charged up in the back seats that's just me but then make our way up to the front seats power adjustable front seats do come standard memory settings for not just the driver but the passenger as well for up to three different drivers and passengers so that's something you don't always see for the passenger side at least heated front seats do come standard mb Tex upholstery coming standard as well and by the way this is finished in sienna brown in case you were interested leather seating goes for 1620 dollars ventilated front seats go for 450 overall seat comfort has been completely fine in my short little test drive here today so absolutely no issues when it comes to that but then take a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped it will be heated for an additional 250 dollars and overall the 10 2 grips are definitely bolstered on the thicker side nothing like uh bmw m grips or um even mercedes amg grips or anything like that but it definitely felt nice for me at least so then make your way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here all of your buttons are located on one side of the key the mercedes logo that's going to be your lock button just underneath that unlock and the button to pop the rear trunk there but it is all keyless entry with a push button start so all i'm going to do here is simply put my front of the brake and press that engine start button located just to the left of that infotainment screen there and so once started up 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster does come standard it looks absolutely amazing and of course those gauges are completely customizable there's a little home button found on the steering wheel controls here and if you press that you got different looks there's understated there's sport and there's classic so i think my two favorites are probably going to be the understated and the sport i think i like the sport the best honestly because this thing feels like it drives like a sports head so i like that look personally it gives you some g-force statistics there in the left as well of course you get your basics like how many miles you have left until you hit empty there's outside temperature uh trip a trip b you got your rpm gauge up there and uh digital speedometer within the middle of everything as well so that is definitely pretty cool but now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality power sunroof comes standard however a panoramic sunroof is available for an additional one thousand dollars we do have that option with us here today so i like that frameless rear view mirror with home light controls throughout the three different garage doors does come standard dual zone climate control love that 64 colors of ambient lighting 
definitely love that. The wood trims is really what sets Mercedes apart for me personally. So it's got ash wood, it's got a walnut wood option, it's got a metal weave option, and then a natural grain option and so on. We have the natural grain wood with us here today. And that's one thing about Mercedes. Whenever you jump in a new car, a lot of times it has that new car smell. With Mercedes and all the wood trims that they use, it's more of that new home smell when you first build a home or something like that. And that is exactly what it smells like hopping in a new Mercedes Benz because it's got that new home smell. It's so freakishly cool. I absolutely love it. But wireless phone charger is newly standard for 2024. That's one of another new update for 2024 here. That's just in front of the cup holders there. So I do love to see that. Overall, this thing is finished like a Mercedes Benz as you would expect. So I personally absolutely love it. Again, the black and Sierra Brown definitely goes good together. The natural grain wood looks good. Just behind the wireless phone charger, you got a couple cup holders, a little bit of storage there within the center armrest. A uh, little bit of storage, not a ton of storage in there, but you do have two USB charging ports and it's actually LED lighting within that center armrest as well. So that's pretty cool. So overall, I love the interior quality. Mercedes-Benz always crushes it with that. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen. You're gonna find an 11.9 inch portrait style color touchscreen display. And yes, it is touchscreen, but it does have the Hey Mercedes functionality as well. Hello, I'm Mercedes, your voice assistant. Would you like to know more about what I can do for you? That sounds wonderful. I'm sorry, can you say that again, please? Yes, please. Okay, here we go. Whenever you want to talk to me, you can press the push to talk. All right, so yeah, that's how that works. But Bluetooth and audio streaming does come standard. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, factory navigation system is available for $650. Ambient lighting settings you can check out up there. Of course, your climate control settings as well, along with your radio information. And so when it comes to the sound systems, there's two of them here for the C-Class. The standard sound system is a front base five speaker sound system. So that's kind of on the basic side of things, if I'm being honest, like that's not a lot of speakers, but there is an optional sound system that's a 15 speaker Burmester 3D sound system with 750 watts and Sirius XM is now newly standard for 2024. So I did want to mention that as well, but that is actually the sound system that we have with us here today. So let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one. That, all right, so that was FM radio. For whatever reason, Sirius XM wasn't hooked up quite yet. So I would have loved to have tested that. But yeah, FM radio isn't the clearest, but could definitely tell there was a ton of bass coming through the sound system. So I did love that. And I'm sure the clarity would have been just fine if we actually had a decent radio station on here. But anyways, last thing I want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the C-Class in reverse, you will find a really high definition rear view camera coming standard across the board. 360 degree monitor is going to be optional bird's eye view is also optional and a uh, parking assistance also optional but that is always is going to lead us into safety and so first let me start by saying IIHS top safety pick plus which is the very highest designation given by IIHS that pretty much does it all right there but front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver's knee airbag up front as well in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks rear side impact airbags go for $700 if you wanted to go that route but also coming standard on the c-class will be attention assist active brake assist adaptive braking technology mercedes-benz emergency call service so if you were to hit somebody or somebody were to hit you the vehicle is actually going to call you and ask you if you need an ambulance or the police or whatever the case so i love that blind spot assist with exit warning as well then there's a driver assistance package that goes for $1,700 that gives you adaptive cruise control emergency stop assist lane change assist lane keep assist speed limit assist active steering assist evasive steering assist and route based speed adaptation then as well so overall when it comes to my final thoughts of the c-class sedan excellent interior quality it really is second to none mercedes-benz always crushes it when it comes to their interior quality i personally love it pretty darn quick as well so like i said because of that mild hybrid system there was no turbo lag whatsoever in the c300 instant acceleration so you gotta love that excellent braking 60 0 and 112 feet is really darn good as far as room for improvement goes safety should be standard so that driver assistance package goes for 1700 like adaptive cruise control like all of those safety features typically come standard on let's say a toyota corolla so I don't know why Mercedes-Benz likes to charge a little more for all the stuff that comes standard on just about every other manufacturer out there right now. So 
I really don't know. But anyways, I would love to have some rear charging ports back for the rear passengers as well. It's another thing. Rear side impact airbags. I like that they're available for $700. But having said that, they come standard on the new Toyota Corolla LE, which is what? A $21,000, $22,000 car. So again, Mercedes-Benz with the safety being optional for some reason. And that kind of leads me into my last point that the C-Class can get quite pricey pretty darn quick because of all those options. Now, there's a good side to that. It really allows you to personalize it, making your own, because there's plenty of options available, but it can tack up the price pretty quick. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the C300 in the comments section below. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media if you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're in new car reviews, because that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.